In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the quality control module of the LIM application. For this demonstration, we'll be applying some image processing tools to our pages and then opening the, the job in QC and looking at the application and the interface to see what options we have there. First, we'll apply a few image processing tools. We'll do a detect page region to find the page area on the image. We'll define the margins to show where our final crop box will be. We'll apply a diskew to help diskew the image. We'll crop the area that we would like to see. We'll detect the illustrations and then reduce the text to black and white outside of the illustration area. We will center the image and last we will reduce it to grayscale. On the quality control tab we have four options. Automatic quality control evaluates the images and flags the images uh, for further review inside of the QC application. Manual quality control is what allows us to further add touch-ups to the images and to adjust any changes that we'd like to in a more in-depth look. Quality control sampling gives us a sample set of the images based off of these three sampling, four sampling modes. We can do an ISO, we can do fixed, percent, or evaluate the full document. Document validation allows us to verify that there are no missing pages or duplicate pages at the time that we are looking at QC. For this tutorial, we'll be focusing on the automatic quality control, manual quality control, as well as taking a look at the sampling step. Now that our job is waiting for user, we can double click to launch the quality control interface. First, we're going to take a brief look at the different things that can be done in, inside of the interface. You can sort, and these options here will sort and filter the thumbnails to show you only select images inside of QC. So the first option is to show all. You can show images that have been rejected, images that have been rescanned, ones that have errors, ones that are good, ones that have been unedited, and ones that have been edited. There's also a drop-down option to choose a filter from the automatic quality control and, uh, and other quality control options that you can show only those images. So for example, you can choose to show blank images, and this will show you all of the pages that were flagged as blank. If you hover over, it will show you what flags have been applied to the image. Now here we have an image that is saying it's blank, but we can see it's the cover page. If you want to remove the blank page tag, you can go to one of the four tabs for controls and quality control, and you can choose to uncheck the blank page uh, filter for this image. This can be done to all remaining images or any that needs to be altered. You can also add a new tag to an image in this control. The next option that we have on our toolbar is to alter the display mode. So there are three viewing areas. You have the thumbnails, you have the large image viewer, and then you have the controls that are available for QC. Each area can be resized and these display mode bu buttons allow you to toggle and alter the areas. For example, if you would like to use our three viewer mode, you will see the image on the step that you are currently working. So for example, the detect illustration step. And then you will see the original image as well as the final image. As you make changes, the final image will be updated both in the thumbnail as well as in the viewer. You also have the option to do a dual page view, which is the step you're working on, as well as uh, the final step, 
or you can do the view of a single, which will only show you the step that you're working on. Next, on the display mode, you have the option to open and close the thumbnail area, to open and close the large the, the side panel with the tools, or open and close the large viewer. You can go into a full screen mode, which will open up the images and you can browse through them in a large viewer. Additionally, on the toolbar, we have the option to add an image, which will allow you to browse out to a location on, this, on the drive and choose a new image to insert into the group. You can rescan, which will replace the image. You can delete an image from the set, undo changes you've made or redo, as well as print out a edit report as, and also view notes or leave notes about the job. When you leave a note, it will give you a timestamp as well as the note information and it will allow you to re-show the notes in the future if you re revisit the book. Additionally, we have tools for viewing on the large image. You can look at zoom in, zoom out 100%, fit to screen, quarters, you can add a grid, which is great for doing the skew, or you can do selection, a hand tool, you can do skew by line or clone. I will show you briefly uh, one of the features of our quality control step. Uh, quality control step includes the ability to lock into a step. So, for example, I would like to evaluate the crop boxes of all of the images in this book, or at least ones that I think need to be edited to, to be corrected. So if we turn on our three viewer and we lock into the step, I can adjust the box. It will update automatically. And then I can select another image and adjust the box for that, and I can continue to, to adjust my crop boxes while being locked into this step. I also, if needed, can do this for multiple images. So we will select two, and then we will move the crop box area, and it will ask us if we'd like to apply to the selection, and when we do that, it will then apply the change that we've made to all the images that were selected. This is just a brief look at the manual quality control. For more information on this, we can visit our other video that goes more in depth on manual quality control touch-ups. In addition to the image processing tool, we have metadata where we show the exit information, for the, the images as well as the IPTC. These can be edited and applied. We have the quality control as we noted before, as well as a mark record information or descriptive information where you can add additional fields, you can add additional information about your job here. Before going to the next step, which in this case will be sampling, we do have shortcuts for all of the image processing tools so that you can easily apply them and touch up your image. As a brief example, you can select areas on your page and you can, with your shortcut, erase them. And if you don't want to do this step, all you have to do is remove it from the list. By clicking next, we will next look at the sampling step. In the sampling step, it gives you the images to look at uh, from, from the subset. By clicking next and previous, you can evaluate the images. If you find an image that you don't feel is, is correct and needs to be 
reevaluated during QC, you can click these, this button and we'll send it back to QC so that it can be corrected. So in this case, we will send it back. We can quickly change our cover to be red as it is in the original image. And if we wanted to apply this same template, we can do it for the back cover. And when we've corrected this, we can click Next. It will send it to the sampling step, where we can either continue or restart the sampling from the beginning. Once we have viewed and evaluated all of the images, we click Next. It will give us an overview report of the sampling step where we can either print it to the PDF, just verify what we've done, and send it on to the next step for further processing. This has been a brief look at the quality control interface of the LAM application.